Listen, to clear your head, oh, wow. The thing about clearing your, your head, your mind, is this. Every single person on this planet, yeah, has different coping mechanisms, all right? So, if I was to say to you, or if someone, is, in fact, yeah, if I was to say to you, all you got to do is just sit down and mm, that don't work for everybody. Meditating does not work for everybody. Do you understand? And there's different types and different levels of meditation. But I'll get into that in another video. Now, here's the thing. In life, like I'm going to give you an example, yeah? Because, not well, not an example, but a little story here. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it short and simple. So, yeah, this is based on a true story. You know, I went through a phase where I had so much things running in my mind. In fact, you know what? I still do have a lot of things running in my mind, but not negative stuff. But it's a thing where, you know, every day when I wake up, within that 24 hours, I have like. Have you ever opened up, um, I don't know, uh, like Google Chrome, either on your tablet, laptop, or flipping phone, right? You open it up and you have so many tabs open. Excuse me, what? I don't know why I'm speaking French when I'm able. But like, anyway, have you ever opened, have you, have you ever done that? That's exactly how my mind is sometimes. It's like, I've got so many things on my mind. So many, so many things. And I'm thinking things to do next. Like literally the next thing I'm gonna do, and then, then after that, after that, after that. It's, 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 I don't know why I'm like that, but how I managed to do that, and it's not about clearing my mind, it's more of, okay, well, if this is how I genuinely think, which I found out that's how I genuinely think, then what I need to do is learn how to manage that. And that's what I'm doing, which is just keeping it so and simple. Well, which is just simply, you know, waking up and knowing what my intentions are for that specific moment, living, like know what I'm knowing that the consequences of what I do now affect my future do you get it so it's the same thing with you the, the consequences of what you do right now will affect your future yeah it will it will whether you like it or not will affect 10 years 20 years 30 years 40 years from now let me give you another another story right i remember i don't know how old i was but i'm sure you have probably watched home alone right home alone one and two um, I can't remember what what film it was in, but there was a that that the some recorder, some voice recorder thing. You had to put a cassette tape in and stuff like that to record your voice and stuff like that. But yeah, like I had that as a toy, and then I remember, I remember basically with me and my foster sister, and my foster sisters really, like I remember basically acting out as if we were on, like. We were on radio. Now watch this. This is how manifestation works, right? I didn't know about manifestation at that young age. Cool, doesn't matter. By the time I reached, well, but it was about 10, when was that, 2008? So yeah, 11 years ago, like, 11 years ago, I ended up being on Represent Radio, like when it was more or less, yeah, when it was, when it was underneath, I think it was South City Radio, then there was up the other thing underneath that, and then obviously Represent Radio has grown and it is where it is now, so I'm grateful for the experience and stuff, so the point I'm trying to make is, 
I lost the point I was trying to make. Because why did I tell that story? Oh, I told that story simply because at the end of the day, look, when you're a kid, you're not thinking of so many things at once or you're not really, do you know what I mean? Like you're just doing you. And that's exactly what you've got to do right now with your life. Just live in that moment. In fact, the point I was trying to make was also that what I was doing in the past, it ended up affecting my future, where I ended up being on radio. Like, you get it? That's the point I'm trying to make. So, yeah. So, now, what I want you to do is understand how to manage your mind, yeah? Because it's not really about clearing your mind, because the truth of the matter is you can't clear your mind. I don't care what anyone wants to tell you, you just cannot clear your mind. That's not being ne negative, that's just being 100% truthful, brutally honest. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. Other people may want to lie to you, and that's on them. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's about managing what is on your mind. If it's negative, then you've got to filter out the negative or you've got to transform that negative into something positive. And the only way you can do that and to learn more about how your mind works is we have an online course or online courses and basically it's in the career and business where we talk about more about, you know, in fact, no, it's in the parenting course where we mention about a particular system of how you think and how you react and how all these stuff here yeah like as an individual like you can see it for yourself you can test it out for yourself but the only way to do that is to go in the description box in the link below in the well in the description box yeah there is a link and um click on that link and that you know above that link you will see where it says you know become a member of the Akibulan Trust so yeah click on that link and then become a member of the Akibulan Trust and once you become a member of the Akibulan Trust you get access like full full access to the online course to do with parenting which will actually open up you know open up your your mind to find out how your mind works and how to manage your mind because that's the key thing it's not about clearing your mind it's about managing your mind and trust yourself it's so powerful that at the end of the day you will feel like you are living on a high so powerful that your life that you will be living is like you're on a high a natural high you ain't got to smoke weed you ain't got to take pills you ain't got to take uh you ain't got to drink no no henny no sea rock or whatever it's called or whatever 50 cent sap champagne is called and um, you ain't got to drink none of that you ain't got to take none of those vices natural high when you know how your mind works, it's a natural high. How do you think I feel right now? In fact, leave your answer in the comment section below and tell me how I come across. Do I come across like I am naturally high? Yes or no? Whatever you want to say, cool. Leave it in the comment section below. And listen, as always, in fact, if you've got any suggestions of what you want me to talk about in our videos, then please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, peace, love and blessings.